Hello, this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I'm just doing a recap of the missing women case out of Oklahoma where uh, Veronica and Jillian, so it's Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly, went missing on March 30th when Jillian, who is a court-appointed supervisor, for Veronica when they were driving together to go have a visit time or pick up the her two children, which she has the right to visit at various times, I think on the weekends. And they went missing on the trip to go pick them up. And the husband, Wrangler Rickman, I guess they're in the middle of a nasty divorce, Wrangler Rickman and Veronica Butler. And Veronica Butler didn't have full custody. So Wrangler Rickman is the one that had the main custody where she got visitation rights. Uh, Veronica did. So Jillian was the supervisor that was going to accompany Veronica when she was visiting her children. Now Wrangler Rickman though recently was put into a drug rehab facility for six months and ordered to stay in there. He couldn't even leave it for the first 30 days at least. And so he was stuck in there when Veronica was going to visit the children. So at that time, Tiffany Adams, who is Wrangler Rickman's uh, mother, so here's Wrangler Rickman, and this is Tiffany Adams up here. That's the mother. Looks a lot like Lori Daybell up there, if you, if you ask me. And she had custody of the children while Wrangler Rickman was in the rehab facility. Veronica Butler here has been requesting more and more visitation and likely during the time that Wrangler Rickman would be in the rehab facility, Veronica would have a good chance of getting back the custody if she could show the courts that she was, uh, in fact, rehabilitated. So Tiffany Adams, though, she had a lot of anger even towards her son regarding the custody. Um, it's almost like she wanted the kids herself. I mean, really strange stuff. So whether or not Wrangler Rickman has any knowledge of what Tiffany the Barbarian, along with Tad Cullum, Cora Toombley, and Cole Toombley, uh, if he had any knowledge of what they were going to do, we don't know at this point. But I think, I guess we'll find that out in the press conferences coming up. So apparently these four individuals at the top of the screen here, Tiffany, Tad, Cora, and Cole, killed Veronica Butler, the mother of the two children, to get her out of the way, and Jillian Kelly, her murder was cold-blooded, absolutely had nothing to do with anything. She was one of four court-appointed supervisors, and it just happened to be her turn that day. Um, absolutely nuts. So if we go back out to the map here, it's in Texas County uh, where the incident took place. Let's go through the map here. Veronica and Jillian both lived in I think it's called Hugoton. And Veronica lived in this house right here. And if you go down the street view, you can see the Kia right here that apparently they were driving in when they went missing. So Veronica lives right there. And Jillian Kelly is the wife of a pastor in this small town. And they both drove together. And they were supposed to meet Apparently, this is what we were told in the media, that Eva was the place that they were supposed to meet, which is this general area. It's inside of this square here. And then Four Corners is the specific place. Now, if you go down the street view right here and turn around, you can see when you zoom in, there is Four Corners right there. So this is the place they were supposed to meet. Uh, they never made it there. However, if from four corners here, if you just go straight up 95 right there, you see a little bit further up, right there is where the car was found on Road L just off of Highway 95. So were they ambushed on the drive and that's where they were ambushed and they drove over there and then they were killed in that vehicle right there and then put into another vehicle? Or did they actually make it down to four corners here and that's where they were ambushed because it turns out that apparently 
Cora's child here was babysitting these two children while these four barbarians up here went and killed Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly. And I, I just find that to be absolutely incredibly stupid too. Uh, Tiffany Adams should have actually taken the kids to Four Corners, maybe 20, 25 minutes early. And the kids just would have thought that their mother never showed up. And then when they showed up, Tad, Cora, and Cole could have all done the crime. And Tiffany would still be able to say, oh, wow, I, I, I was there waiting. And it might not have led to these other people. But instead, they de deployed a babysitter. Uh, apparently, it's Cora's daughter. This is what the information on the Internet is. So take some of this with a grain of salt. And Cora's daughter is the one that might be the one that turned in the tip. But amazingly, if you just interview the kids, they would say, yeah, we never went to go see my mom. And it would lead right back to Tiffany Adams, the grandmother, who had control of the kids at that time. So it's absolutely idiotic. I mean, it's incredible. Now, here's where everybody lived. So Tiffany Michelle, I like to say Mackle uh, Adams, lived right here in this house and so did Wrangler Rickman. Okay, that is in the Cimarron County. Then right here is Tad Colum. He also lived in Cimarron County, right down there. So now it's not that far away, maybe eight miles away. And then clear down here is where Cole and Cora uh, Toombley lived in this town somewhere. Um, at least that's where their P.O. box is. I don't know where they actually had property. I couldn't find it out there. So it could be that they have property out in this area, and that's just where their P.O. box is in a small town near where they live. There's also a Four Corners over here in Gaiman, but that isn't the place they were supposed to meet. It was going to be right here at this Four Corners in Eva, and it makes more sense. So again, where they ambushed, where the car was found or where they ambushed down here at Four Corners and the car was put back up there as if they had already visited and then went back up there. Uh, the kids would always have the true story, though. They would just be telling everybody that, no, uh, we didn't get to see the mother. So it turns out the bodies of Veronica and Jillian have been found. They were found today in Texas County. Now, Cole and Cora live in Texas County, so maybe it was at their physical residence. We don't know exactly where they live. At least I don't currently, uh, because when I looked them up on a program, it just said P.O. box numbers. Okay, So it's somewhere in this county their bodies were found, and we know that all four barbarians are responsible for killing them. Now, let me just ask you this. Do you think that Wrangler Rickman, after he gets out of rehab, should get custody back of his two kids if he didn't know about it? Obviously, if he knew about it, he's going to be in prison as well. But if he didn't know about the attack in advance, should he get the children when he gets out of rehab? And I just say no. At this point, you know, when you have the, his mother killing the children's mother, and this guy was in a rehab facility. I would try to give them to Veronica Butler's parents and let them take care of the children. And maybe Wrangler Rickman can have visitation. He's not going to have a biological mother anymore. I don't know where his biological father is, but his mother's going to be in prison for the rest of her life and all these other people. So Wrangler Rickman seems like he'd be a better person just supporting financially and visiting from time to time. Um, I would focus in on Veronica Butler's parents as being the guardians um, going forward. I, I can't imagine giving the kids back to Wrangler Rickman and then them going, hey, where's grandma? Well, she's in prison for killing your mom. That just doesn't make a lot of sense. All right. So that's where we're at now. There's going to be a press conference tomorrow uh, at 10 in the morning. I'm going to try to get up and do that. Uh, but I would really like to see the probable cause document in this case and put it all together on a map and the timing, and then we'll all see exactly what happened. But if you've been watching this channel, 
we focused in on the grandmother um, on the first day that we covered it. Now, at first we were wondering about the husband, but then he turns out he's in rehab, uh, regular Rick. And then it turns out the grandmother is the one that had custody. And the theory was that whoever Veronica was supposed to meet with and had the children has something to do with why she is missing. And that turns out to be the grandmother, Tiffany Adams. So again, Tiffany Adams, Tad Cullen, Cora Toombley, Cole Toombley have all been arrested for the murders of Veronica Butler, the biological mother of two children, and Jillian Kelly, a court-appointed supervisor who had absolutely nothing to do with the troubles the families were having. She was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but doing her court-appointed duty to supervise Veronica. And her death, for me, should give these four people up here the death penalty. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you very much for watching, and if you hit that like button, share and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as I always say, until next time, be safe out there.